What is going on guys, Alex here, and today we're taking a look at how you make the iPhone 4S awesome by downgrading it to iOS 8.4.1 from iOS 9.3.5 and how to make your iPhone 4S bearable to use. So just before we start, I'd like to say I hold no liability to if you break your device, if you do anything to it, you do everything at your own risk and I'm not held liable. But apart from that, let's actually take a look at how you make the iPhone 4S usable and awesome again. So what we're essentially going to be doing here is jailbreaking the iPhone 4S running iOS 9.3.5 and then tricking it into thinking that it's running iOS 6.1.3 at which point then Apple will actually give you an update to iOS 8. And there's only two bits of software we need to do this so they're linked in the description but let's get straight into the method. Okay, so to get the jailbreak, which is what we need to do this, we're actually going to use this thing called Cydia Impact, and this is a sideloading app. We're going to go ahead and open this up, and then we'll see in the device thing, there'll just be Alex's iPhone, so for you it'll be whatever iPhone you are using. Then we want to navigate to the device menu, press install package, and then navigate to your home screen, install the Phoenix IPA, and here then you will have to actually enter your iTunes login and password. This is mainly because it's essentially making the phone think that you're a developer testing out an app on a phone, so you just have to do this. I've done it a couple of times, and honestly, it isn't dodgy, it is actually trustworthy. So once you're done with that, we'll actually start installing the app and you will pretty much then be good to go. So once that process is complete, you'll find that there is a Phoenix app built onto your home screen and this is what we're going to use to jailbreak the iPhone. Okay, so once that process is complete, you'll find that there is a Phoenix app on your home screen. Now what you want to do before you open it is go to settings and general, go device management and then you'll see your email press trust your own email and you'll see that the Phoenix app is actually based under your email address. So once you press trust then, you can go back to the home screen, open up Phoenix, press prepare for jailbreak, press accept, you'll just go to install Cydia, press use provided offsets. screen you'll see that there is a Cydia app installed and that means that everything's worked perfectly. Okay so once all that's done we can go up into the search menu and just search for the word file and then once it comes up with the search results we're going to head down to here and see the file browser here that says running as root. We're going to go ahead and install that. Once that's then done we'll head to the home screen, open up the app that we just installed and then once the application opens we're going to head down to system. Inside system there's library and then we're going to head down to core services so once we find that then head down to the bottom, press the little I. And then once we've opened that up, we're gonna go ahead and find this here that says 13G36. We're gonna delete those numbers and enter 10B329. And then we're gonna just press done. And then down here where you see the product OS version, Unfortunately, you can't scroll down on this for some stupid reason, so we just have to kind of tap until you can see the little cursor's in the right place. Okay, so now that's in the right place, we're gonna tap 6.2. 1.3 then press done and then once that's done we're just going to press save and leave that file as it is and at this point then we're going to restart the iPhone and then once the phone opens up again we'll have to do this slide to upgrade screen once we then have the phone set up again we can go into settings head down into general and about and then we can go down here and just see that we are on iOS 6.1.3 with the model number or the build number 10B329 so once we have that we can head over into software update and then what will pop up is the iOS 8.4.1 update, which is 1.1 gigabytes. And then that is it. It will go ahead and download the update and also install it. So you will essentially have downgraded from iOS 9.3.5 all the way to iOS 8.4.1, which honestly is such a big performance increase. Now, a lot of you guys were asking about app compatibility. And yes, I have had a couple of issues with app compatibility on this. Most of the time, it lets you download apps that were made for this version of software. It will come up with a pop-up that says, would you like to download the latest compatible version? But there have been a couple of apps which I haven't been able to download onto this phone, which is obviously a bit unfortunate and may take away from the experience that you're trying to get by downgrading it. But apart from that, that is basically it for this video, so thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you in my next video. Thanks for watching and goodbye.